With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? Consider an evacuated uh, cylindrical chamber of height h having a rigid, uh, rigid conducting plate at the end and an insulating uh, curved surface as shown in the figure. Now number of spherical ball made of lightweight and soft material are coat and coated with a conducting material are placed on the bottom plate. So this is the bottom plate and this is the upper plate. Here we are uh, placing a conducting uh, these uh, small balls. Now h is very very less than uh, this r is very very less than the height. Now a high voltage is applied across these two ends. So very high voltage is applied between the bottom and the top plate. Due to the conducting nature the ball get charged and will become equipotential with the plate and are being repelled by it. So after some time it would be happening that what would be happening? So the ball would be gaining the same potential. It would be uh, making the equipotential surfaces. Okay. So having the same potential and it would be connected to the positive terminal. So the ball would become positively charged. So they would be becoming positively charged. Okay. Now due to this positively charged there would be a repulsion. Okay. Now the balls will eventually collide with the top plate and repel by it and they are they would be eventually uh, this moving here uh, where the coefficient of restitution can be uh, equal to uh, can be taken to be zero due to the soft nature of the material. Now the electric field in the chamber can be considered to be of a parallel plate capacitor. Now assume that there are no collision between the balls and the interaction between them is negligible and there is no gravity. We need to determine the statement that a uh, ball will execute SHM between the plate or they will be bounced back to the bottom plate carrying the same charge when, uh, which uh, uh, same charge which they went with and the ball will stick up to the plate and the ball will bounce back to the bottom plate carrying the opposite charge when they went back. Okay. Now what will happen? So if we analyze this situation, so what is happening? Electric field would be in the upward direction. Okay. So can this motion electric field is in this direction? That means the force would be in this direction. Okay. The force on the particle would be in this direction. So what is the acceleration? We say that acceleration is force per unit mass. Now force if they are getting a charge of Q, let's say the charge on each ball is Q, Q E divided by let's say mass is M. Okay. Now we can see that A is not proportional to X for the motion to be SHM for SHM for SHM A should be directly proportional to minus of the displacement. Acceleration should be directly proportional to minus negative of displacement. Now here we see that acceleration is constant. Now if acceleration is constant this cannot be the SHM so this option is wrong. Okay. Now what will happen after that? So they will be carrying with the same charge or they will be sticking or they would be bouncing back. Now since they are having a positive charge so they will be coming here with a positive charge and this is the negative charge. So what will happen? Ultimately they would be giving up their charge. While giving up they would be coming with the negative charge terminal of the battery. Again they will be becoming equipotential with this terminal and due to the repulsion they would be again coming back with what charge? With the negative charge with the negative charge. So that means they would be bouncing back to the bottom plate with the opposite charge. So D would be the correct option. So in B part what is given? They would be carrying the same charge. No, this is wrong. And in the same part they would be sticking to the bottom. No, because by gaining the uh, this negative charge there would be collision. There will be repulsion. Sorry, there would not be collision but there would be repulsion due to which they would be coming in the downward direction. So the correct option would be our D option. Hope you have understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.